In this video we'll take a look at some of the advanced features of the um, file upload uh, feature pack. Uh, in particular we're going to look at one of the actions that the uh, file upload feature pack uh, enables in Action JavaScript called Upload Files User Defined. So first we'll take a look at actually um, how this um, uh, grid works and then we'll look behind the scenes and look at how it was done. So what we actually have here are two grids that are linked together in a linked content uh, section and the first grid is a list of customers and then the second grid that is linked uh, to this parent grid shows a list of uh, documents that are associated with that customer. So you can see there are three documents associated with Janet Rebo. Uh, if we click on uh, David Mesner there are no documents associated with David Mesner right now. So when I click this button right now uh, an action that was built using the uh, file upload user defined uh, feature pack uh, is going to execute and it's going to prompt for a bunch of files and then uh, a server-side event that you define will execute and that event will write all of the uploaded files to new records in this child table and then refresh the link content so that the grid then shows all of the documents associated with uh, David Mesner. Uh, so let's go ahead now and uh, click the upload button. Uh, so uh, we need to switch now from working preview to live preview because um, the file upload is not supported in working preview mode. So I'm going to go there to uh, live preview and I go to David Mesner, press upload documents and then go here and select a file. So we'll select that image file and you can see as soon as I select that file um, a new option uh, is shown to allow me to select another file and I can carry on selecting as many files as I want. So I'm going to go there and select say three images and then go and select that PDF file and then that Excel file and then let's go to say invoice and then finally say uh, products by vendor. So right now we're going to upload several files right now at once and then associate these files with the current record David Mesner. So I'm going to press the upload button and then those files then get uploaded uh, to the server. So those files were then copied from uh, my local machine to the server and then uh, the uh, server-side event that we defined created new records in the uh, linked documents table and associated all of those new documents with customer number ID 4 so that they became linked to this record over here. Now what I can do is I can press um, the, this button over here which itself was created using the file download uh, feature pack. So let's go now and uh, press download and you can see that's going to basically now download that image from the server and bring it down to my local machine and uh, there's that image over there. So now let's go and look at a PDF uh, file. So now we've opened up a PDF file and there's the uh, uh, PDF and now let's go to say this Excel file and open up the Excel file and here's the Excel file. So you can see that what we have right here is a, a very simple but very effective um, say uh, document management system uh, where we are associating uh, documents and they can be any type of document uh, with a particular customer. This could be a project management application where this, these are projects over here and then these here would be Excel files or AutoCAD documents etc that you can associate uh, with, with that particular person. So let's go now and look at how we uh, did that. So if we go now to uh, fields and we go to uh, this button over here and then we uh, look at the de definition of the button. You can see that this button was defined using the file upload user defined action. So before we uh, take a look inside this action, let's pause and pick it up in the next video.